For today's math lesson, we're going to talk about something new, which is multiplication number stories. Now, you may be familiar with multiplication, and you might know some of your times tables, but this is going to show you how multiplication works and why we need to use multiplication. So here's an example of a multiplication number story, and we'll just read it quickly. Yosh has four boxes of many stock cars. There are ten stock cars in each box. How many stock cars does he have? Now to solve this problem, I think one of the best things you can try is to make a picture. So we're going to make a picture of this. So he has four boxes. So I'm going to draw on here four boxes. One, two, three, four. Now let's look at the story again. There are 10 stock cars in each box. So we can go. And here's our picture. And I could draw 10 cars in each of those boxes. But instead, to make it easier, I'm just going to write the number 10 for 10 cars to do it quickly. And now I know the answer is going to be all of these numbers together. So I could use addition 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Or if you know your multiplication, you could just say 4 times 10 equals 40. Then this is a little diagram you can fill out to show your information. So boxes, there are 4 boxes. And we know there are 10 cars in each box. And there are 40 cars in all. And the answer is 40 cars. And then how do you know your answer makes sense? I would write here, uh, I drew a picture. So write however you figured it out for that part. Now we can take a look at your home link. This is home link 4.1 for everyday math. And we have a new story here. Elsa buys five packages of apples for the party. There are six apples in each package. How many apples does she have? Let me fill this part out first. There are six, oh, I'm sorry, five packages. And six apples per package. So now I'm going to draw a picture to see what this looks like. First, we need five packages of apples. Here they are, five packages of apples. And we need six apples in each package. And here are the six apples in each package. Now you need to figure out how many apples there are all together. You could do six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Or if you know your multiplication, you could just try five times six or 6 times 5. And that will give you your answer over here. Now the challenging part of your homework is you're going to write your own multiplication number story on the back. And this might be something new for you. So I want to show you a basic pattern of how to do this. So the stories will go something like this. Uh, there were so many things, and each thing had so many things. How many things were there in all? So let me show you an example of this. Okay, here's my story. Please don't laugh at my picture too much. Once there lived a family of four bunnies. And for breakfast, each bunny ate three carrots. How many carrots did the bunnies eat all together? So that's an example of a multiplication number story. Let's do one more. We went to the store and we saw three Christmas trees. And each of those Christmas trees had five decorations. How many decorations were there in all? 
And to answer that, you would say 5 plus 5 plus 5, or 5 times 3. So tonight, try to make your own multiplication number story, or 2 or 3, and put them on the back of your home link, and we'll try some of them in school. Thank you, and have a good evening.